I am still searching for the best pet combo in Prodigy, and I need your help. I picked three combos at random from the comment section and played a game with each, and at the end I ranked them from worst to best. Our first combo comes from PMG552, and he's using Ember Shed and Kometi. Now he said that he's on a 37 game win streak with this combo, which is absolutely insane, so let's see how good it really is. Alright, I just put Kometi and Ember Shed into my pet slots, so now let's just hop into a battle with them. Alrighty, we just got a match against Robo Oliver. Looks like he's wearing the Puppet Master set, and he's got a uh, Hydroid and Aquadile. So something I want to say is I have played with both Kometi and Ember Shed before, and I can definitely say they are both like at, le at the very least top 20 pets in the game. So I really like the look of this pet combo. Oh, he missed. He missed his first turn. That's really big. Um, I'll probably go for clobber on his wizard just to get it out first because i don't think any of his pets are really a threat to me just because they're both yeah they're both water pets their mythical epic like special attacks will do a lot of damage but it won't do like extra damage if my pets were like a different element but it looks like he missed again which is perfect i don't want to risk tail whip's aim uh i might go for, should i go for tail i'll go for tail whip risk it for the brisket all right, perfect, 347. Now, we just need Ember Shed to complete the job on the wizard, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna win this battle anyway. Yeah, he are, he answered his first question for finally, but um, yeah, I think it's too little too late. He already missed too many. Um, I'll just go for Chomp, to be honest, on his wizard. So, He'll go for his Aquadile spell. Ow! I do... Oh. That special attack did do a lot of damage, though. But I do want to try and get his pets out first. I mean, his Aquadile out first, just because it has that first attack. 178, that's perfect. I'm going to hope he wastes, like, his Mythical Epic special on Ember Shed. That would be huge. Yeah, he wasted it on Ember Shed. That's a very bad move because then now you just wasted a really good spell. And I have two full health pets right here that you still need to get out. So I'll just go for Astral Blast on his Aquadile. And 224, that's basically, it's basically game to be honest. All right. Please. Oh, shoot. Oh my gosh. Wait, that actually did damage. Wait, um, so that's a problem, but I'll just get his Aquadile out first. I'm not sure if his Hydroid has enough power to get my Wizard out, which I think I'm still fine even if it can't, even if it doesn't. 295, okay, that's fine, because then I can just use the All Out Attack on his Hydroid and then it's pretty much game. Yeah, 274. All-out attack should do more than enough damage. Yep, all-out attack. And that will be the game. Our next combo comes from Zhao826, and he's running Frozora and Re Galaxy. Now, unlike the last combo, I don't have too much experience with this one, so let's hope I do well. Alrighty, I just put Frozera and Re Galaxy into my pet combo. And as you can see, I'm on my brother's account because I have neither Froza nor Re Galaxy. So without further ado, let's just risk his win streak. Alright, we got a match against Fire Breather Craig, or Shirag, or whatever his name is. And he has double Blue Fury Mag Mayhem. And that is going to be a problem because Frozera is weak to fire and Blue Fury Mag Mayhem is fire. Oh no. I'll go for the wizard. I'll go for the wizard. 255, that's not bad. But I don't know. I don't know. This is going to be a very tough matchup. He goes for my Regalaxy. Interesting move. Interesting move. I'll go Starburst on his wizard. Hopefully that does something. 350, that's not bad. That's actually really good. Because I think the wand spell should take it. Well, okay, that was a little bit demoralizing, but yeah, this should take out his wizard, 
and I don't think his Blue Fury Mag Mayhem should get too much more value after this. No, they have... Jeez, they do so much damage. So, if Tail Whip nope. is here, that'll be... No! No! Oh, I'm dead! No, I'm dead! Oh, no. Oh, I'm so dead. I am so dead right now. I am so dead right now. And none of my spells do any damage. Ugh. Okay, well that's that's actually pretty good to be honest. Considering the circumstances. It just goes for mythical epic special and I think that's game. Oh well. Dang. That was pretty quick. Our next combo comes from Everett's Electric Gaming, and he's using Crookfang and Bone Pterosaur. Now, I do have a little bit of experience with these two, so hopefully it goes well. Alrighty, I just put Crookfang and Bone Pterosaur into my pet slots, and let's just hop into a battle. Alright, we got into a match against Aquatic Theodore, and let's just hope this goes well. Alright, what I, the first thing I'm noticing is that he has a Cogmite, which as you can see is a Storm Pet, which as you can see Storm counters my... Crookfang, so I'm probably just gonna go for him first. Actually, because I already have a plant spell here, so I might take him out later and just go for the wizard instead. 495, that was really big. Whoa. Wait, that was really good. Looks like his wizard's gonna attack my bone pterosaur. I'll use Crookfang's clamp on his wizard. 359, that's perfect. I'm in a pretty good position here, but I feel like I can go for Crunch on his Wizard, then cycle back to it with Flame Burst and Chomp. So I'll just go for Crunch, and we should be good, to be honest. This color might, I'm assuming, probably going to go for my Crook Fang. Nope! Oh, it goes for my Bone Terror, so that was a... Honestly, a pretty bad move on his part, I think. Yeah, I can just go for Leaf Vortex here. That should one-shot it. Yeah, 657. I'm assuming he'll go for my Bone Pterosaur. Just, that's what I've been getting from him. He likes to attack my Bone Pterosaur. Yeah, exactly. So I'll just go for Frost Spear to play it safe. 245, that's perfect. Alrighty, I'll just go for Clobber on his uh, Shardic. And I'll just go for, I believe it's Clamp from Cookfang. And I should... Oh, he missed! <laughs> he missed. That's perfect. And I will just go for Clamp. And that is game. And now it's time to rank them. All of these combos were honestly really good. So even the one in last is still super viable. And speaking of last place, in third, I've got Zhao 826's Frozor Re Galaxy combo. The main reason for this is Frozor, who doesn't have too many good spells outside of her Mythical Epic special. But even with that disadvantage, this combo is still really good. Just watch out for Blue Fury Mag Mayhem. At number 2, I've got PMG 552's Embershed Kometi combo. Once again, this is another great combo, but at times it can be hard to deal with the wizard. That's because this combo only has a few reliable physical spells, but Everett's Crook Fang Pterosaur combo is the complete opposite, which is why it's number one. Bone Pterosaur just has a whole arsenal of physical spells, and Crook Fang isn't too bad himself. But with that being said, that'll be the video. Be sure to like and subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next episode. As always, be sure to comment your pet combo down below, and it might be featured in the next video. And be sure to share this with a friend that's struggling to find a pet combo of their own. But with that, I'll see you guys next time.